Let's talk some football. Let's talk about Prime for off the bat. We were just talking about possibility of leaving Colorado, but now they got Julian Lewis there. He's going to stay there. Is, is there actually a market? Are there teams out there that's like, hey, you know what? We entertain Prime coming here. We heard about the Cowboys and Raiders, but uh, is there a big market out there for teams needing a head coach that would be interested in Prime? Well, here's here's what I'd say, Mikey. On on average, right, we've got seven to eight head coaching openings in the NFL, which is it's just a pretty good number. And there are not seven or eight dialed up candidates who I'm like, absolutely, that guy I think is going to get a job this year. So that does create some variance in terms of what the candidate pools are. Every team is going to have different criteria for uh, what they're looking to hire in the process. Some are going to want experience. Some like the you know the up and comers. Some like offense, defense. Some don't care. They just want a, a leader of men. All of which is to say, what we know is the Dion, you know, Coach Prime has won at the two stops that he's been. He won, you know, in his initial stop, and now obviously at Colorado, uh, he's managed to do the same thing amidst all the attention, much of which he brings on himself, but all the additional scrutiny uh, that he's got. So from that perspective, and the fact that he, his name does still carry clout in the NFL, I think that if he were truly open to it, or depending the extent to which he pushes the idea of, you know, only steering his son to a certain team, there would be teams potentially interested in at least having a conversation with Dion about a job. Now, my personal opinion on this mm -hmm. is Dion Sanders is perfectly made for 2024 in college football. You know, he's there to make money. The players, they're there to make money. Let's all make money together. We're going to compete. We're going to have fun. I'm going to get you prepared for the NFL. I'm one of the greatest to ever do it. You can recruit. You know, the NFL is a little bit different. There's a salary cap. There's a draft. There's, you know, tens of millions of dollars, and you're dealing with, you know, adult men whose motivations might be a little bit different. Again, I, I think that one of the undersold things about Deion Sanders is the staff that he put together at Colorado. Yeah. He's got a really strong staff with a lot of uh, NFL names. I know you guys were just talking about what they're doing defensively. Rob Livingston, who used to be the Bengals coach in the secondary, is now the defensive coordinator at Colorado, and they've been uh, one of the best in the country this season. So all those aspects are there. If I'm Dion, I'm thinking I might be the only guy who knows how to work the system, how to win in college football over the long haul. Uh, I know he said recently he's got the kickstand down, but if he ever decides to put that thing back up, uh, do I think that the NFL at least would have some interest in him? Absolutely, because he's something different that we really haven't seen before. All right, we'll see what happens uh, with prime time. And if he goes somewhere, if he's allowed to actually, you know, get get his son there as well, because a lot of people are saying that the reason he would go to the NFL is so he could draft Shador Sanders, and that doesn't quite work that way sometimes. You know, like if you're you're getting hired in January, if you find out at the end of April, hey, he got drafted one spot above you, it's like you can't back out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It don't quite work it's a out lot that way. Harder yeah. yeah. Unless you're going to the team that's got the number one pick, because listen, that you know, back in the summer when you get all the early grades from teams, and there's like a half dozen guys at that point who were like first rounders or borderline first, second round. There's not a lot of other guys who have managed to keep that type of um, reputation within the league right now. Shadur Sanders, you know, at this point, I had a lot of questions just about the entire experience with him. He's obviously a dynamic player, but he's played the best mm -hmm. of all these guys. Uh, I don't know exactly where he's going to go. It's really early. It's November. He just accepted his invite uh, to the East-West Shrine game where I know they want them, everybody who goes to those games to play now. It might be one snap for Shadur in that game. Um, but, you know, if I'm guessing right now, he certainly has a chance to be the number one overall pick, which would leave Dion exactly one place that he could go if that team's even uh, looking for a quarterback. All right, we'll see what happens there. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.